Hello guys welcome back to Gamut ID. 2019 Jeep Cherokee, the Baby Grand. 2019 Toyota Avalon, a snoozer turned snazzy. The Toyota Avalon is undergoing a redesign for 2019, one that sees the big sedan try to shake off the somnambulant image of the current car in much the same way that its Camry platform mate let its hair down in its 2018 redo. Like the Camry, the new Avalon switches to the TNGA architecture that underpins many current Toyotas. The wheelbase grows by 2.0 inches, but overall length increases by less than an inch, the new Avalon also is lower and wider. More than its outer dimensions, what transforms the look of the redesigned car is its extended and setback greenhouse, which creates a longer looking hood and an ultra short rear deck. Up front are optional LED headlights and adaptive cornering lamps. Two front fascia treatments are offered, luxury-oriented trims get a chrome-bordered grey grille and silver headlight bezels, while sportier-leaning models have black mesh grilles and dark headlight surrounds. At the rear, the Avalon has quad exhaust tips for the first time, and sequential turn signals are a new flourish. V6 or hybrid the Avalon's mainstay powertrain is again a 3.5-liter V6, but it's a new engine, now paired with an 8-speed automatic transmission instead of the previous 6-speed. Toyota isn't ready to release power and torque figures, but in the Camry this engine makes 301 horsepower and 267 lb-ft, versus the current Avalon V6's 268 ponies and 248 lb-ft. Whatever the final output, the new V6 should sound more powerful than the old one, thanks to augmentation that Toyota calls engine sound enhancement. A hybrid also returns, pairing an Atkinson Cycle 2.5-liter inline 4 with a two-motor CVT automatic. All Avalons are front-wheel drive. Toyota has divided the Avalon's trim levels into luxury and sport categories. In the prior group are the XLE and Limited, while XSE and Touring comprise the latter. The Touring is the only version to get adaptive dampers, a first for Toyota. The standard suspension differs in firmness between trim levels, the Limited is firmer than the XLE, and the XSE is stiffer still. All models have selectable driving modes, Eco, Normal, and Sport, with the Touring adding Sport Plus and Custom. The modes alter damping, in the Touring, as well as throttle calibration, steering effort, and engine sound. In the hybrid model, Eco mode enables what Toyota is calling auto glide control, which reduces engine braking under certain circumstances when the driver lifts off the accelerator. The hybrid also sees its battery pack move from the trunk to under the rear seat, a position that allows for a pass through into the luggage compartment and makes for a lower center of gravity. CarPlay, Alexa, and more the Avalon was already sprawl out spacious, and for the new car Toyota claims best-in-class status in several key interior dimensions. Real wood and aluminum trim are used in the top-spec models, while upholstery choices include synthetic leather, microsuit, and genuine cowhide. Apple CarPlay finally comes to Toyota and is standard on all trim levels. The Edune 3.0 infotainment system features a 9.0-inch touchscreen, Wi-Fi connectivity, and integration with smartwatches and Amazon Alexa to enable remote starting, door locking and unlocking, and checking the fuel level. A color head-up display is standard on the two upper trim levels, and all models come with wireless device charging and a total of five USB ports, three in front and two in the rear. On the active safety front, automated emergency braking with pedestrian detection, lane departure warning and lane keeping assist, adaptive cruise control, and automatic high beams are all standard. Blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert, reverse automated emergency braking, and a panoramic view monitor are available. Once again built in Georgetown, Kentucky, the 2019 Avalon goes on sale this spring.